you want to see something scary? You want to see what they're planning? This isn't just for, uh, this is right here is from Ireland. This is called Health Passport Ireland. Remember, I went over this a couple weeks ago about COVID pass that Bill Gates wants to bring along. This is your vaccination certification so that you can take part in society. Oh, you want to travel on those roads? Where's your COVID pass? Come on, bring it up in your phone. Where is it? Where's your COVID pass? Are you red, amber, or green? Check this out. Health Passport Ireland is created to protect our society and our economy. Built in Ireland by the Rock. Created to protect our society. It's always about safety and security. Always. That's why Benjamin Franklin said those who give up a little essential liberty for a little pol politically promised security deserve neither liberty nor security. Don't ever, ever, under any circumstances, for any good sounding reason, give up your liberty. Once you give up your freedom, you have given your life over to somebody else. So here we go. This is for your good. It's for the health of society. You want to participate in society, don't you? You want a healthy society, don't you? Then wear your mask, socially distance, self-isolate. Let contact tracers come to your house and trample your Fourth Amendment right to be secure in your persons, houses, papers, and effects. Let that happen, and then you can be a part of society. That's what they're saying here, guys. This is, this is nothing short of the initiation of violence. This is evil. And they, they make it sound really good, really inviting, like something everybody would want to sign on to. Q Group, the system uses the very best COVID-19 testing combined with the latest mobile technologies. Health Passport Ireland is powered by proven and valid. By the way, the very best in COVID, I, I hate that I said that word, the very best in Cerveza bug testing is not good at all, even according to mainstream media standards systems allowing us all to take safer steps in our return to our normal way of life safer steps. here's how it works with health it's passport ireland you want to be safe right you want safe safer steps don't you oh if you don't want safer steps you don't care about your neighbor you don't care about your 65 year old grand uh, uh, grandmother or 75 year old grandmother everyone can now be tested for covid 19 at any time which helps to protect you your family our job Everyone, everyone can now be tested for COVID-19. Everyone. They want everyone tested. And according to Bill Gates, he wants everyone vaccinated. Jobs and our economy. Your COVID-19 test will be performed with highly accurate serological or swab tests. Highly Your accurate. test is performed by... Highly accurate is a joke. They even admit that the, the cat dog cat organization even admits that it's highly inaccurate. Even the FDA admits that it's highly inaccurate. I am a medical professional. After your COVID-19 test, an authorized healthcare administrator creates your Health Passport Ireland account. Your login details will be emailed to you immediately with a link to download your Health Passport mobile app. The authorized healthcare administrator securely updates your COVID-19 test results in your Health Passport. Once activated, you can easily display your COVID-19 status on your mobile. Your health passport can be scanned if you wish, which helps protect those around us. Your COVID-19 status will efficiently display as green. Your what status? Your Cerveza bug status. Your status in regard to Cerveza bug allows you access or denial into the regular things that we take for granted every day. You just get in your car, you get on the road, you get on the freeway and you go to another state. They want those days to be gone. They want this to be your new normal. What is your COVID-19 status is what they're going to ask you. Let me see your phone. Are you green? Are you amber? Or are you red? If you're red, you're going to be denied. If you're green, good. You're good to go. You're one of us. You're participating in a safe public health environment. It's nonsense, man. This is a takeover of everything. This is, guys, this is so surreal that we're even talking about this. Brian, you're blowing this out of proportion, blowing it out of proportion. Listen to these people. They want to take over. They want to take any vestige of freedom you had left and just take it and stuff it in their pockets and shove your face in the dirt and tell you to go pound sand. If you ain't convid compliant, you ain't riding on the ride.
You ain't participating in society. You're not coming into this restaurant. You're not going to take that road. You're not going to take that plane. You're not getting on that ship. You're not going to enter that school. Nope, you have to comply. Comply or you, you're, not, you're not part of a society. My question to you is, are you going to stand up against this? Are we going to stand up to this? If we don't stand together, we will what? Hang separately. Amber or red, dependent on your test results. This allows us to go about our daily activities in a safer way. This allows us to go up about our daily activities in a safer way. Look at this. They even put it up there. This allows us to go about our daily activities in a safer way. Basically, you're not going about your daily activities unless this thing tells you that you're okay. Oh, but wait, there's more. We haven't even we're not we haven't even got to the expiration yet. But by the way, let me let me say one real quick thing I, that I forgot to mention. One of the most important things about this Banking for All Act, they need to make sure that that, that digital money is moving so you can't save it. How are they going to make sure that you can't save it? In your digital wallet, in your pass-through digital wallet, according to this IMF thing, I think it's, it's in, uh, in, in part 8 or part 10 of the 15 bullet points, there's going to be an expiry on that. In other words, if you don't use the, the, the currency in this digital wallet by a certain date, you lose it. So people are incentivized to get that moving. That's the velocity. That's the money velocity. They want you to spend that money before a certain date. And you will. What's, what are you going to do? Just let it expire and let it go to nothing? You could at least buy a can of beans or something like that. They want you to use that. That's how they're going to increase the velocity of the money. That was one of the most important things that I forgot to mention about this International Monetary Fund uh, slash S3571 Banking for All Act. It's gonna, they want it to come online on January 20, uh, 20, uh, 2021, which is 120 days from right now. And they want to uh, make sure that you know that there's an expiration date on it. If you don't spend it by a certain date, it goes to zero. So you better spend it. And we're going to deal with that right here with this, this basically what amounts to Health Passport Ireland or COVID Pass. We can all use Health Passport Ireland in many ways, such as travel, hospitality, uh, mm. education, healthcare, construction, offices, entertainment, visits, and much more. What are much they more. saying? What are they saying right there? No hospitality. You don't go to restaurants. Construction. You can't be involved in that game. Travel ain't gonna do it unless you unless you got a green uh, health passport. Ireland. Healthcare can't participate in it. Offices, entertainment, education. You want to be a part of society? You're gonna have to have this on your phone, guys. This is surreal. It's almost like I'm. Like somebody just made this up. This isn't our re th like this isn't our reality, but it is. It's almost like we're watching a like a clip out of a movie. Oh, that that only happens to people in scripted movies, scripted Hollywood movies. That's not gonna happen to us. <laughs> oh yeah, right. They want this to happen to us like yesterday. Much more. Naturally, the validity of your COVID nineteen test will expire over time, there so an go. automatic reminder will be sent when it's time to be. Listen. Naturally, the validity of your COVID the the validity of your Cerveza bug test will expire over time, and then that green turns to amber, the amber turns to red. You have to constantly be tested. What are they gonna? And if you're gonna be, if they're gonna force you into testing like this, what makes you and I think they're not gonna fo force us into vaccination like this? Oh, your vaccination expires. You got to get your booster shot. Didn't get your booster shot? Oh, I see your screen is red. Hey, no problem. We have a booster shot office right here. Oh, you don't want to take it? Then you can't participate in society. But I need to get on that plane. My grandmother's dying. I'm sorry. Here, take the shot and you can go back to green. Hey, look, I want to get in that restaurant. I want to take my family out to eat. I want to go to the grocery store so I can buy, my, buy food. I'm sorry. You cannot buy food unless you're green, unless you're convid green. Nightmare, guys. Nightmare. COVID-19 test will expire over time, so an automatic reminder will be sent when it's time to be tested again. Your status will move to amber Look when your that. test period has expired. Health Passport Ireland does not use Bluetooth or track your location. This preserves your privacy. The systems can work in oh, yeah, harmony with existing so government they contact. Care, they care so much about your privacy. They care so much. Do you believe them for one second that you're not going to be, they're not going to keep an eye on you through this? tracing apps. When a vaccine becomes available, your official vaccination status can mm. also be displayed within your health passport. Oh, how convenient that is. So when a vaccine comes, then we're going to transfer from testing to vaccination approval. Gotcha. 
vaccination access. You can even keep a diary of your international travel and events you have attended. Health Passport Ireland can be linked to existing secure medical systems if required. For example, at your GP or hospital. You can visit www.healthpassportireland.ie for more information. Health Passport. And so when you go to that, here we go right here. Um, let's see, actually, this isn't that website, but this is talking about that website and the idea that we just saw from Health Passport Ireland. By the way, is anybody in the room in Ireland right now? Gosh, I hope you guys are resisting this. And I hope Americans have... Here, here's the scary thing. There are a lot of people who are going to look at this and go, what a fantastic idea. That's going to keep us all safe. And guess who's going to be the first to sign on to this? Everybody that you see complying and wearing masks. Everybody. This is a pilot test program, guys. They're watching to see who's complying and who's not. Who should we get ready for the gas chambers? Who should we get ready for the FEMA camps? Oh, it's those miserable troublemakers who aren't wearing their masks in the grocery store. Oh, they got their cameras on you. Don't, don't kid yourself. They've got facial recognition out. They've been ramping this thing up for years and years now. They've, they've perfected their art. They know that you walk in without your mask on. They know who's going to be compliant and who's not. And don't think for a second that those who are wearing masks are going to go, I don't want a mandatory vaccine. You know, I was okay with the masks. But they ended up getting their test because they're scared. People are operating on fear and they have no rational thought in their head. Once, once fear takes over, there's no rationality. The Iris-based firm will be the first to launch a digital platform aimed at increasing COVID-19 testing for business and public health. And I mean public. Of course, that's public health is implied. The ROQU group, based in Dublin, has announced the pilot launch of the Health Passport Ireland, which is said to deliver test results in 15 minutes. The system will be downloadable on mobile devices with users able to display or scan their COVID status whenever needed. If the user is tested negative, the green status will show on their profile, which turns to amber when it's time to be retested, just like everything that we just saw. Man, I, I really hope... We, I really hope we stand, I hope we all wake up together. We need a mass awakening. We need a mass awakening. We need a mass of people to stand against this. And I don't know, it, it, when you go to the store and you see that you're the only person walking around in the store, and I hear this from all you guys too. It's like, I'm in this highly populated area. There were at least 250 people in my massive grocery store. I was in Costco the other day. I'm the only one in there without a mask. Same with me. Me and Trish were in Lowe's the other day. Only two without a mask. Only two. All the employees had them and every customer had them. Nobody even, same thing as, as another grocery store too. Only one's in there without a mask. Go in there at any time of day. If you're in there at a higher, um, you know, uh, a higher, uh, you know, bit busier time where there's like three or 400 people in there, maybe it'll be you and two other people, but that's it. For the most part, 99% are just complying. They're just putting on their ritualistic shame muzzles. They're, they're okay with the, what with, with the government is telling them. They're okay with being lied to by the mainstream media, thinking the mainstream media is telling the truth, and there is this evil, dastardly virus, hey, invisible Jesus. virus roaming the streets, ready to seek and devour you. So what do you guys think? I don't care. It doesn't matter to me if you're in Ireland, New Zealand, New Hampshire, uh, Mexico, Canada, China, Japan. Are you going to stand for this? I know a lot of people in China have already stood for this and they already got this kind of stuff, this technology on their phones. When is enough enough, man? When are we going to reach that critical mass of people who just stand and go, I don't care what it costs me. I am not losing any more freedoms. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm drawing my line in the concrete, not the sand, because it's going to be indelible. And people are, no, I'm, this is my stand that I'm taking. And not only that, you know all those freedoms that you took from me? I want them back. So I'm advancing. I'm not just holding the line. I want to go forward. Taking all my rights back. We're eliminating all the gun-free zones in our freaking town because we know they don't work. We're going to eliminate all the, the uh, drug war laws. Because it's not a war on drugs, it's a war on people. All the gun control laws, because it's not gun control, it's people control. Get, get away from me with your stupid euphemisms, and we're taking our communities back. Leave your thoughts about this in the comment section below, too. I want to find out, do you want to stand, are you going to stand against this in your community? If so, how are you going to stand against it? Do you have, do you have people in your community that you can unite with? Because that's what it's going to take. It's going to take everybody in the community, or at least a large percentage, watching, watching each other's backs. 
guarding against tyranny. The price of freedom is, like it or not, eternal vigilance. And indifference to this notion is the means by which the people have and will secure their own oppression. 